You're a pastor. I mean, the pastor's pretty cool down because, you know, he's... Yeah. I told him. Yeah. He, he got to spend a day with me when he came out to Aurora in April. He's, I want to spend a day with you, right? And he's seen all the... So all my pastor friends, the pastor student that watched this, all the behind the scenes things that we have to do in order to make sure that the service runs right. You know, sometimes a pastor is like a, a, a jack of all trades. <laughs> and when he spent time with me, he, he, I'm like, all right, cool. He had to go minister. We ministered to some youth, some teenagers. He went and shared his story with some teenagers. And I said, all right, cool. We're here in Chicago. Now we're going to go all the way to this town over here, which is like an hour and 30 minutes away, and, right? About an yeah. hour and a half to go get some tables and some chairs for the event for the next day. Once we went to get the tables and chairs, <laughs> And then we took them another 45 minutes to the church, right? And then from there, we were done. And I said, all right, JC, now we got to go to Sam's Club and go get some hot dogs and all the other stuff, the food for the people. He's like, man, bro. Let's, let's just put it like this. We left the apartment at 3.30 in the morning, <laughs> and I didn't get back till 8 o'clock. At almost night. Almost night. At all day. It was an all-day process. And I told, I told the pastor, I was like, I thought pastors just show up on Sundays and just preach. You know, the Holy Spirit comes in them on Sunday and you just preach and that's it. No, no. Oh man, I was like, man, being a pastor is a full time, yes. 24 hour job. And shout outs to those bivocational pastors that work a full time job and then run the ministry as well. Man, much love for you. Man, you know, but just nothing minister, but respect. Ministry in itself, it's a, it's, it's a challenge. But you, once you, when God does something in you, that's what powers you to keep moving. When you see lives transformed, when you see God working in people's lives, that's what moves you to keep on doing his work, keep on telling people about Jesus, keep on speaking his word, speaking his truth, because you see it in, in others' life, in others' life, but then when he does it for you too, you don't want to keep that to yourself. You want to share it with others. And when I seen what, what he was doing and what, what God was helping him with, I'm grateful that he allowed me to be part of his journey and be there for him and help him as much as, as, much as I can. Amen. Um, God is definitely working with him, and there's more to come. There's more to come. Now, I, I feel very, very humble and grateful to have you in my life because, like, everybody needs mentors in their life. Everybody yes. needs people to be accountable to. Even in training, you, you're, yeah. you hire a, a coach. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, shoulda seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger. In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling, six time failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never. What's up guys, my name is JC, I am Ron Strong. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss nothing. If you're part of my team, Mi raza, familia, subas a la suburban. Cause we're about to take a ride. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. What's up guys? Welcome to another episode. I have a special guest today. He is actually at the studio. Here, privileged to be at Wrong to Strong Studio. Man, I feel so grateful to be here, man. It's awesome. Awesome to be here with this awesome brother right hey, here. Hey, uh, um, I feel very, very humbled and, and just, man, it's, it's just a, spe it's a special, it's a very special day today. A lot of people don't know, but uh, today I'm getting married. Today is the day when my brother, amen, is getting married to an awesome, awesome woman that loves him, that is his uh, ride or die, is she is a woman of God that she she prayed for our brother JC to give his life to Jesus and um, God definitely heard her and today's that special day where he's coming together and 
reuniting with his with his wife. It's just awesome to be part of this uh, part of this event with my brother here. Hey, you know, uh, I wanted to to share a little bit about you know when I came down to your church and, and how we met and and all that stuff because uh, I mean I have to. I have to tell people the, the testimony of uh, how God is working in, in both of our lives. Uh, I mean, obviously you've been <laughs> you've been walking with God a lot longer than I have. <laughs> but how He brought us together, how you know I came down, you invited me to your church, yes. and it's been uh, nonstop from from there. Yeah, yeah. I met. Uh, I subscribed to JC's channel, to Wrong to Strong, about three three and a half years ago. And from time to time, I would, I would watch the videos that he would post. Um, but one particular video uh, got my attention, was the one that he posted, I will no longer be posting cartel videos. And that made me wanna, you know, watch it. So I ended up watching the video and, and he shared how he had, he had an encounter with God. And he has given his life to Christ and that he would be changing his content of his videos. So I left him uh, just a, a message on, on YouTube, not thinking that he was gonna respond because he had 60,000 subscribers. And I'm, I was like, he ain't gonna respond to me, but at least I'm showing him some love and letting him know congratulations, welcome to the kingdom of God, welcome to the family of, of the Lord, and I'm super proud of you, happy for you. Um, I let him know that I was a pastor in Aurora that grew up in Humble Park. Um, had kind of like, not the same similar, similar lifestyle because he's been through a lot more than I have, but Definitely, I've been transformed by Jesus Christ. And I was just like, man, uh, we would love to have you come out and, and share your story one day at our church, if you're ever up to it. So he responded, and then uh, then we made that connection where we would uh, talk on the phone, we would have video chat from time to time, pray with one another, just uh, just being that, that setting up that brotherhood. That A connection. big brother, big, big brother, brother, because right? like, I, I look at you as one of my mentors, man, and, and uh, a big brother because uh, like I look up to you, man. I, once I went to your church and, and I seen how you were living and how you were treating people, I knew you were the real deal. Amen. So, and, and I'm not gonna lie, when you sent me that email and told me that you grew up in Humble Park and everything, like, uh, and I'm gonna just be honest, guys. <laughs> you know, here I find <laughs> out the truth. The truth comes out, but it's okay. God, I got much love. For he you. was, folks, but you know, it's all good. <laughs> Nah, 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 yeah, I'm transformed and changed by Jesus, amen. But it's so, all good. It's all you know, good. Um, being out here in Arizona and being born and raised in Chicago and just living my whole life out there, you know, I felt very, very lost out here for, for many, many years because uh, I'm a Chicago boy. I, I grew up over there. Every I still miss home to this day. And when you told me your story about how you grew up and then I watched that, that news that news article that they did on you, I was like, man, those 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 are my people. That's 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 my home. That's so when I went down there to A Town, because I have been to A Town before, I mean A Town's always been A Town. Aurora. A Town baby. Represent. Shout out to all those amazing people in Aurora, man. Illinois, City of Lights. Hey man, I'm, I'm originally from Chicago, but I've been in Aurora for seven years and it's just the best place, it's an awesome place to live. Yes, yes, and you know, the love and, and what I got when I went over there, was it was just so awesome and, and it made me realize that my, my calling was, was from home. And uh, I've been praying about it since then, and things a lot of things have started happening. I mean, I've been on a couple of uh, shows and uh, a big one's coming up in September, and, and uh, man, I just, uh, you know, I, I, I really gravitate towards this guy because um, he's teaching me, I'm learning, and, and what better way to learn but with someone that's actually walked your walk, but is actually now on the other side, and is like you already went to school, graduated, you already, you have the notches under your belt. You already, you already, you already, you, already, you know, you got, you got championship right or what belt? You got, you got, you know, you. And people don't realize that the Christian walk, it's not an easy walk. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. And you know, a lot of people, well, you know, this and that. When you become a Christian, everything changes 
how you listen to music, how you talk, uh, you become an alien from this world. Mm. You're not like nobody else no more. It's that like God begins to, to detox you and he shows you things that you were blinded to before <laughs> and it just becomes so alive to you. Like, whoa, man. And the more you fall in love with him, the more you want to honor him, the more that you want to please him. Not because he forces it on you, not because he makes you do it, because the Lord is a, gen is a gentleman. He don't force himself in your life. When you let him in and begin to work in you and how he changes you, he, he forgives you of all the wrongdoing, especially if you've done a lot of stuff that you know in your heart and in your mind, like, man, I was a bad person, but to be forgiven, slate clean, <laughs> God just does that transformation in you. It does this birth something in you of just this gratification being grat uh, being being grateful having gratitude wanting to honor him with everything that you do and everything that you say you just want to please him in, in all ways yeah you're gonna fall short yeah you're gonna sin you're gonna make some mistakes but the good thing is, is that when you fall short you have that opportunity to, to repent to get right to 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 get get started again but being in the word of God that's where he shows you where you're wrong and where you're right, what you need to work on and what you have accomplished. And it's a daily walk and daily you're gonna learn something new. Yeah. I've been in this for 16, 16, 16. 17, almost 17 years now <laughs> serving the Lord. And I learn something every day. Oh, so check that new. out. 17 years you've been walking with the Lord. Yeah. That I did 17 years in the pen, so. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy how um, it's just so many things just falling into place. Um, even from devotional time this morning, we prayed and we had devotionals, and then we we did a we did a workout together, and God is just bringing stuff out like.